What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Defense Vlogs with your host Jeff Graff. Today I'm coming at you with a reaction video. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I've had a chance to go on YouTube to get caught up with the uh, other influencers to see what everyone's up to. Things have been really busy with work, obviously. So I was on YouTube two nights ago and came across uh, one of Joe Everest's latest videos where he had a podcast with Mark Olson and Sean King um, in relation to their iPost system. Now, I want to make things perfectly clear before I even get into this. This is not a trash Sean King, trash Joe Everest, or tra trash Mark Olson video. But they said some things that raised quite a bit of concern throughout their podcast in relation to uh, driving posts with utilities. The next question is going to be is, well, what do you do with utilities? Like somehow we don't have to deal with utilities if we dig the hole. Yeah, the same our thing you would do problem, in digging. Our utility problem just got a lot less because normally we're doing a you know six to ten inch hole, and we, we're we're disturbing this much soil, and so we need to be two feet off that line, which means we actually need to be two and a half feet off the line to the center yeah. of the fence. Well, yep. guess what? When I'm only disturbing this much area. I have a much less chance of hitting a utility or staying further away from it so that I can stay outside that tufa zone. Yep. And the same same rule applies. Probe for it, pothole it, figure out where the utility really is. But utilities are a problem. It doesn't matter if you're pounding or digging. You're, yeah. you're far better off pounding with utilities uh, in, in reference to the space, the cubic amount of dirt you're disturbing. An eight inch hole is eight, about 800% more soil with an increased chance of hitting the line anywhere in that soil you're removing than the inches of the quarter base to the quarter boat. Well, absolutely. There's a couple more. Th so in my mind, there's a couple more benefits to one being repairability. Right. So we had a customer come in earlier. This it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that this is, a, this is bad information. This mindset has the capabilities of a, getting someone severely hurt. B, getting someone killed. And what universe is it a good idea to drive post blind with utilities in the mix? I'll tell you guys a, a short story about a very close call I had. Um, this is back in 2005, 2004 maybe. I was digging I was digging a job and um, everything was marked. Um, the electric line was marked three foot off of my excavation area. So okay, I'm thinking I'm in the good. Wrong. So on one of the holes I had dug down and the uh, tip of the auger bit just grazed the coating on an on a electric line through wet concrete in it um, I tend to float my post and obviously wet set um, so I tossed wet concrete in, in the hole first shovel full I get a spark show so immediately I, sh I shut the job down, call AP, which is our local electric company. They come out, uh, they, were, they were probably there within an hour or so. And I helped the guy dig out the area so we could see what was going on. And this dude's face got white as a ghost. Luckily I had just hit a service line that was headed towards the house, but one inch below that line laid the line that fed the whole grid. This line was in excess of 10,000 volts. One more inch, I would have hit it. Guys, when you're dealing with utilities, use common sense, use your head, and safety first. There is no cost savings in the world that is worth a severely hurting yourself or be killing yourself.
I have a lot of respect for the three of you, and I wish you all the very best in your endeavor with the iPost. It's a great product, great idea. I love it. But come on, guys. Let's not spread information that's going to potentially get someone hurt or killed. That's just stupid. If there's utilities in the mix, get out your post hole diggers. Use finesse. Dig down to at least where the utility line is. Whatever that utility line is. And drive the post the rest of the way. There's no point in playing rush, Russian roulette and having a chance of not going home that night or ever again. If there's utility...